Hello, thank you so much for clicking play. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. And if you were watching this right after I post it, the coronavirus is spreading across the US and artists are canceling their tours. And I've been getting emails from clients saying, how can I make a splash page to send people to my Patreon or donate on PayPal or whatever. And so I figured this can apply to so many of you, so I wanted to record my screen and show you how to put a landing page on your Squarespace website so you can bring in some extra money, some extra revenue streams. So first, things first, obviously pull up your website. And I'm actually gonna recommend that you pull up your website in two different tabs, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, so on this first tab, I'm going to click into Pages. And in the second tab, I'm going to click into Design. So I'm going to go back to the Pages. And I'm going to scroll down to the Not Linked section so I can work on this and it's not live in the navigation um, while I'm doing this. So I'm going to click the plus button right here next to Not Linked. And then scroll down under Other and you see Cover Page right here. I'm going to select that. And let's just say, um, I'm just going to call it landing page for right now. Okay. And then, so the reason I had you pull up the other tab is because I want you to go into the site styles here. When you create your landing page, it has its own set of site styles. But if you want it to mimic your website, like your fonts and your colors, pull up your fonts and colors over here so you can just click and copy and paste and add them to your landing page styles. So back on the landing page, first you need to pick your template. So all you have to do is click change layout right here and you have a variety of options that you can scroll through. Um, you can also click up here on all layouts and filter based on what you want. I will show you a couple of my favorites. This first one actually is one that I use often and I also like to use, let's see, I've used um, this one, the montage, a couple times. Um, there, These right here are good if you want to add like an actual audio track to the landing page. And then this one, this debut, is usually my go-to. Um, I will select that and then hit save. Once you select your template, hit save and then back. And then really just go down the line of these options to edit. So branding and text, if you want to drop in your logo, just select logo, pull that in there. Let's see if I can get to mine quickly. Uh, logos here. That's the wrong website, but we're going to do it anyways. Drop in your logo, um, and then whatever you want your headline goes here. And the body of the landing page goes here. You can link your text using this little icon or just leave it like this. But once you have your logo and your text the way you like, just hit save. And then again, hit back. And this is the template I use often for artists because they can put a music video on here. So let's see. I don't have a video in mind. It might not like that, but put your YouTube video link here. Hit save. Yeah, I don't think it's going to like that. Let's see what, if we can find one. Let's see. Let's just pull one of these right here. I'm just going to right click and copy link address. Pop that in here. And then hit save. And then back. And I'm going to go to media. Click video. I'm going to hit that same YouTube URL right there. 
And then this mobile fallback image is important. So find a picture to represent your video and drag that in there. So if somebody's looking at it on a mobile device, then this image will show up if the video doesn't default and play. I'm going to hit save on that and then back. It's kind of confusing because you're watching a tutorial video while I'm making another tutorial video. Um, okay, and then action. This is where you can put those links to your Patreon page. You can see those links popping up as buttons over here. Um, and then enter site. So give people like a call to action and then if they don't want to do that they can still enter your site. Um, so for me that would just be slash home. But you can also click the settings icon here and under page you can just start typing home and you will find your link right there. And then hit save. If you want to have more than just the two buttons you're going to need to use the navigation instead. Um, so that'll give you more options but as you see it changes just to text. Oh, and then I'm going to hit save on that. Actually, I'm going to go back to the buttons. Um, and then down here, under buttons, you can also have like your newsletter sign up form. So you can custom create a form, or you can just do the generic form that Squarespace sets up for you. I'm going to go back. Um, the next we have is the social links. So I already have social links done on the back end of my website. So here you can just select yes, I want to display those or no, I don't. You can see those icons went away. I hit save there. And then the style. So this is where it comes in handy to have your other styles already pulled up. So if you don't know what fonts your website uses, just come to this page and you can hover over and click on anything on your website. So if I click on my navigation, you can see it pulled up everything to do with the navigation. So I can click font and see that this is my font. This is the size that it is. And I can come over here and do the exact same thing over here. So everything looks cohesive. Um, I could do 12 or keep it 14. And then let's say I want to change that color of the button to this color. I'm just going to click on that, copy it, and then paste it where the black is. You can see that changed the button color over here. I'm going to hit save and go back. I'm going to take this video out of the background. It's a little distracting right now. Um, just going to go, there we go, take that out. Let's stick in a picture here. If that will look for. So now the background should be a picture and then when I click on this button here it will still go to watch that video that I put the URL in there. So let's go back. Maybe this picture will pop up in a second. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to click on these the headline and body text up here and change that. So let's come back to my website and see what this font is. So this font's the same just a little bit bigger and the weight is heavier. So let's click this. I'm gonna make it 700. And 30. So now you can see this kind of matches what I have going on over here. And then let's click this one. So let's find, let's see what this is. So this is 16, 700, and let's copy and paste this color. Paste the color in here. So what weight did I say, 700? Now let's click on this picture as a whole and you can see it's doing the auto overlay color. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to make that 
more of a white so I can fade it in or out as much as I want and kind of pull it up until you can see the text a little bit better. Um, auto loading color, this is really just getting more specific, doesn't matter as much, but while we're in here, let's see if it'll let me, it's not going to let me copy that. Let's make the gold our loading color then. And maybe we will make that button gold, or maybe we can make it blue. because my face is sitting over it. Let's try that. There we go. <laughs> or maybe we keep it black. And then save. So this is how you set up the landing page. When you're ready to go live with it, let's move my face away. <laughs> um, when you're ready to go live with your landing page, click on the settings icon right here and then scroll down and click the set as home page. I'm not going to do it because this is obviously not set up to um, be what I need it to be, but set as home page and then you will apply, save, and close and it will be your new landing page. Um, try to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. I think that should be it. Um, you can usually leave this in your not linked section because you don't need landing page in your main navigation. So just set it up in the not linked section at the bottom of your pages. Um, pick your template, add your body text, add your video, add your styling, and then if you don't set it live while you're in there, if you want to come back to it later, you can always hover over it like this, click this settings icon, and it gets you to that same place to set as home page. And then when you're ready to turn it off, just do the exact same thing and on your home page and you will set that as home page. So it already says this is set as your home page. So that's all you have to do to switch your landing page on and off. So I hope this helps. Good luck um, getting those clicks and bringing attention to what you really need and want to right now.